Today is another beautiful, tranquilo day in Ecuador. Hoy es domingo. Today's Sunday, so you are now hearing the sounds of the church in the background. I don't know what kind of church that is, but they do like their rock and roll. It's a Christian church. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a Christian rock band church. <laughs> <laughs> Performance, whatever. Anyway, today, JP and I are going to walk up the stairs to Turi. And I believe the staircase is 440 or 450 stairs. We are going to take Camino a Turi. So we're going to walk up the stairs by the church and down the other side and explore the town of Turi. We're looking forward to having you join us. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned. And that is where we're going. That's the first stop. The cathedral on the hill in the V. That's Turi. Well, we're going up that hill. It's a large incline. This is the Tarki River. There are two rivers that run right next to each other. They meet just a little bit further down from here. And this one runs into the Yanankai. And all of these rivers in Cuenca feed the Amazon River. Seems weird that we're so far west, but all of the water on this side of the Andes Divide goes to the Atlantic. And just a few miles from here, they, all the water goes to the Pacific. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> it's fascinating. And the ascent begins up the hill to... Oh yeah, because we drove up that way. Remember? Yeah, we've driven up that way before. So beautiful up here. The mountains off. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's morning. not a cloud in the sky today. But I'm sure the weather forecast says it's raining. At least <laughs> Probably. That's what my mom will say. I th thought it was going to rain there today. Here is a post. Right in the middle of the stairs. So you have to walk around. And notice, no railing. It's like a five foot drop. And there's no railing. Very few railings. Inside or outside homes in Ecuador. This is our first of many panoramic views that we'll see on this Trip. This is those are the Andes Mountains and they form a bowl which is why they call us Cuenca because in Spanish El Cuenco means bowl. So La Cuenca is La Ciudad de Cuenca which is the bowl city. And then there's a farm right here. And with, barbed wire. With so corn. <laughs> oh yeah and then there is the barbed wire <laughs> keeping us out of the farm. And we're walking along this sidewalk and then there's this which is like a 15 foot drop and no railing at all and these are roofs so it gives you an idea <laughs> of how treacherous walking is here yeah you definitely have to pay attention uh oh vicious dog alert <laughs> you see lots of dogs barking dogs guarding their their fences Look at this little one. He's very vicious. And then we have an awesome view of the new cathedral in downtown Cuenca in El Centro. I think it's interesting to have a crosswalk along a highway. I know, without but any kind of Sunday. signs. And knowing that no one stops for humans. Yeah, but it is Sunday morning, otherwise we would have taken the bridge. We'll do if, that next time. If we were a stray dog, and they would stop us. <laughs> and we ran out of sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> now we're walking up this hill. Now, well, Ecuadorian woman just passed us like we were standing still. <laughs> yeah, in her sweater. <laughs> yeah, in her sweater and jeans. And we're at the bottom of the Ready? stairs. Can you do it? I've already lost five. count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, we've walked up about 70 or 80 of the steps of the 450 some. And I'm already out of breath. I this know. altitude is high. Amelia is checking her vitals. Yep, my heart rate is up to a respectable workout level. <laughs> <laughs> and we're only, a, we're not even a quarter of the way yet. But it's beautiful. The air is crisp and cool. And even though you can hear the traffic down below, it's Pretty fantastic. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I think we're about 140 steps up. And you can see that's where we're going. Uh, the next leg. 
we start making this part of our weekly walking routine, we're going to have legs of steel. <laughs> yeah. Just like the night. My legs are burning. <laughs> <sighs> and we made it up that flight. <laughs> are we going to speed this up? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can. This is a house that's either being built or renovated. And the only way in will be to walk up and down these stairs. That would be a lot with your load of groceries. Yes. Uh, and there's a festival up here as well. We have lots of festivals here. Some of the indigenous women have these beautiful dresses on. food things here and none of them are vegan. I guess we've reached the end of the parade already. Now we're heading down into Turi. I know, it's all like these funky tiles. I bet this is really slippery when wet. We're kind of right in the middle of Turi and this is, there are two cows. Not a lot of grass. It does look like a farm right here in the middle of town. It is neat. Except for the poor milk cows they don't have lots of room to, gra to graze and move around. Definitely have to watch your step here. The sidewalk just kind of abruptly ends, as is often the case here. You have to look down and up at the same time because they have trash, little trash shelves that hang off the sides of walls where they put the trash out of the reach of the stray dogs. So you're looking down for holes or things sticking out of the sidewalk or big gaps like this one here. And then all of a sudden you hit your head on the trash rack. Well, I haven't had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia walked right under those. Lots of cyclists here in the Cuenca area. Very popular. And here's another example of, in the States, this would never fly because everyone would kill themselves. They're walking along the sidewalk and then it just dead ends into a 15 foot drop. Amelia walked right around, which she doesn't realize is that we have to turn left here. We have to turn left. Up there? Yeah. Walking down a dirt road here in the middle of the little town of Turi, and there's a big old cactus. Wow, this, is. this is really beautiful here. Here's some more cows. They have room though. At least they're not in a factory farm, as Amelia pointed out a few minutes ago. There's a chicken out pecking around and pooping. Yes, just they do that. On cue. Poop on cue. Amelia is wondering if we took a wrong turn. This road seems to be getting narrower. I think this is a prison. I think that is a prison. Ecuador has a very low prison population, especially because they don't imprison people for possessing marijuana. Didn't I just read that the, the prisons are only like 30% full or something like that? that yeah. Pretty yeah, they're only like 30% full here as opposed to overflowing. Well, they have a big rehabilitation program apparently. I don't yep. remember all the details. I'll have to yep. find that article. Well, so in a zombie apocalypse, this yeah. is where people would go. Now we know. We could hear lots of people talking yeah. or yelling or whatever they're doing. Sounds yeah. like music. It does sound like music. Maybe it's church music this Sunday. It's weird to see such a big complex in this, basically this little picturesque farm community. Yeah, quite unexpected. I did not find any mention of a prison in my research. Nope. Well, let's try to avoid that place, all right? Agreed. Okay. All right. Um, this is really steep. This does not look. <laughs> the road appears to be disappearing. I'm thinking I think this is Google perfect. Maps may have sent us the wrong direction. I think so. But I'm going to insist that we make it to the top anyway. Okay. I think that looks like a driveway to someone's house. Could be. Or it could be the road that we're looking for. It could be. One way to find out. Wow, look at this funky looking plant. It's like an aloe vera crossed with a Venus flytrap. It's got teeth. I wouldn't touch that. And we made it to the top Yay. of that hill. Ooh. And now we have to go this way. 
Here's another view of that prison. Can't imagine it being anything else. No, it's definitely a prison. You can tell by the gates. At least that's my, based on my Walking Dead experience. <laughs> Your Walking Dead uh, knowledge. Yes. That looks like a prison. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's a bike race. Wow. wow. They're going like 60 miles an hour down this hill. Turi le da la bienvenida. Turi gives you welcome, or welcomes you in English. There is the town. You can see La Iglesia, the church right in the center. And I'm expecting to find a square because uh, most of these Spanish cities start with a square and then build out from there. Wow, this place is beautiful. It's got a nice yard, little welcoming committee, as most yards have. It's really beautiful here. Here is a little tienda right here, kind of in the middle of nowhere. I guess they're servicing this little farming country community. Here comes Amelia's big smile. Hello. That's cute little puppy dogs. There are lots of puppies in Ecuador because they don't really believe in neutering or spaying their dogs. So there's lots and lots of dogs. But they're, that's a lot better because there's a lot of shelters and education about taking care of your pets and spaying and neutering your dogs. Yeah. And there's the church. Yay. We're almost there. Well, the church is closed. La Iglesia está cerrada. This is like the little downtown area. I was expecting a little bit more of a square, but I guess a parking parking lot will do. We're eating our delicious PB and jam sandwiches. We have a visitor. He's really skinny. He is really skinny, poor thing. We both gave him a piece of our sandwich. We figure he needs it more than we do. Now we're gonna walk back all the way back home from here. It's about five to six miles, depending on whose phone you believe. There's another church up on that hill that we didn't even notice on our way down. So the way over to Mirador Turi. Hola. Oh, hola. Shake ¿Cómo, your hands. ¿Cómo se llama? Luchito. Luchito? Yeah, Luchito. No, Luchito. Okay. Luchito. Mucho gusto. <laughs> Gracias, Dili. Oh. Gracias, Dili. Dale la mano. Dale la mano. Prende la mano, mijo. Eso. Hey. Mucho gusto. <laughs> He's very cute. Yeah. Those montañas son uh, yes. muy bonito. Sí. Muy bonita. Before is my, my, my mountains. Your mountains? Yeah. Yeah. They're amazing. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama? Lucho. Lucho. Yes. Mucho Luis. gusto, Luis. 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 This is Lucho. Lucho. Yeah. And you? I'm JP. 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 Un gusto. <laughs> Amelia. Media. Mucho gusto. Luis. <laughs> Hola. Bienvenido. Hola. Bienvenido de Luis. <laughs> Bienvenido a Ecuador. Gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Ecuador es nos, mi nos país y es su país. Sí. Oh, muchas, ah, muchas, muchas gracias. gracias. Un gusto en conocerlos. Otro día nos vemos. Okay. Sí. Mucho okay. gusto. Chao. Mi Chao. Adiós. Chao. So we just met that family. Uh, what was interesting is Luis spent 10 years in Minnesota. I can't even imagine going from Ecuador to Minnesota where it's freezing cold. But um, he's so proud of his country and the mountains and Turi. And uh, like so many other Ecuadorians and Cuencanos we meet are very friendly and welcoming to the gringos. They yeah. like to talk to us too because they like to practice our English. Yeah, and he also offered us his cerveza. <laughs> yes, he did, which we declined <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because we're sticking to water until we get home. Yeah, then we I want think, to make it home. <laughs> I think we'll have a cerveza when we get home. But <laughs> See, <laughs> de acuerdo. very nice of him to offer his beer to us. Yes, it was. They were very nice. They were. back through Turi and now we're heading down those stairs we came up and there's the view of the city and Cajas off in the distance there. This is Amelia, JP, 
post our first official hike to Tori and back and I am pooped. It was fantastic. We feel really tired but super relaxed and peaceful like we do when we would do our hikes in Colorado. It was a fantastic day. Yeah, I'm tired. It was over 10 miles there, uh, there and back. And it was a lot of hills, a lot of elevation, gain, loss, gain, yep. loss, gain, <laughs> yeah. loss, gain, loss. Up and down where, where my legs are fried. I have a spinal cord injury and my legs are not, it's still not fully recovered. And it's really hard for me to, to do that, that long of a walk and that many inclines and declines, but we did it. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. One of the things I noticed that it's just so odd here is how they have these gaping trenches in the sidewalk. And if you don't watch where you're going, you could step off a ledge and fall 15 or 20 feet. And it's, there's just, you know, you have to, you can't even step across them. They're too wide. You have to walk out into the street to go around them. In the States, obviously we would have grates, sewer drains, and that would either go under the sidewalk or into the sewer. But here they just cut a gap in the sidewalk to let the water run from the streets down into the, you know, the creeks. And if you don't watch where you're going, you could, seriously hurt yourself yes you could so it's really important to always look down and up while you're walking so you don't hit yourself in the head with their trash bin but racks either the good thing is if you did fall and hurt yourself the cuencanos and ecuadorians in general are so nice and friendly that they would help you they would help and we're constantly amazed by how many people we meet that have spent five seven ten years in the states and now are living back here. A lot of them have spent time there and they love to speak English mm -hmm. with the gringos. They'll just stop you in the street and ask, do you speak English? Yeah. And then they want to speak English. Of course, we want to speak Spanish. <laughs> and so so we, sp we speak in Spanish and they speak in English and everybody's happy. Yep, it's a good way to go. Yep. Overall, it was a great trip. I burned almost 3,000 calories on my walk. And Amelia probably burned about half of that since mm -hmm. she's about half my size. <laughs> Uh, but it was a good walk, a beautiful day, b barely a cloud in the sky, and we saw the festival at Turi um, with lots of uh, people dancing and, and stuff. It was a great day. It was fun. Thanks for joining us. Yes, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. And share it with your friends, too. Yes, we like sharing. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hola, veggie lovers. It's another beautiful, tranquilo day here in Ecuador. Hoy is... Domingo, and I just spanglished that. Damn it, start over again.